and welcome to this introduction to curry meter curry meter is a metronome for the practice of uh, advanced rhythm and polyrhythms inspired by the techniques of south indian carnatic music it's a program that i had to do in order to practice these techniques because i didn't find anything on the market there's pretty good metronomes out there of course but none of them that i found that do the kinds of things that curry meter can do let me show you how it looks here it is it's just this little guy so it would be hard to believe that it is so powerful but it is believe me once you get to know uh, what it does you can do a lot of strange things that you cannot do with other metronomes let me go over all this stuff this is a tempo self-explanatory all these knobs you can control the volume with here is how many beats you want the, the count in to be in this lot here is the subdivision of the beat that means each metronome beat can be divided into any equal parts three four five this is uh, an array of lengths it is by default four and you have to write here uh, square brackets and i'll explain more about it later and this la last slot is the rhythm cells this is an array of arrays okay more on it later so let's start it okay so you see that when the different rhythms play this lot goes white this lot subdivision in four means that it's just playing in 16 notes like um, the quarter note the basic beat is divided in four equal parts but here i'm grouping this 16 notes in groups of four so you only hear every beat if i want to hear for example this part six um 16th notes the, each of these groups of 16 notes is still four 16th notes in length so the length is not going to change but internally I have to introduce a subdivision so each of these words or cells now they're only it's a constant stream of 16 notes so internally they have um, a subdivision or, or um, a relative ratios of one to one to one to one right so this is what I wrote here one 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 now I'm going to hear all the 16 notes. So you can hear that this guy is blinking every fourth. Right? It's showing you like the first subdivision pulse unit of its grouping. Let's see, I wanted to have... I don't know, this be um, an eighth note, right? Now we have a one, 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 one ratio, and now we have another cell which has a ratio of one to two to one, right? This is twice as long as these two. And then the, the whole sequence repeats. So I can introduce that. This is why this is an array of arrays. Now I have one cell which is one to one to one to one and another one which is one to two to one. And this will loop. All right. More complex rhythms. This I written down the ratios. One to two to one, two to one to one, three to one, one to one to two so then you write these ratios one to two to one 
two to one to one, um, three to one, and the last one, one to one to two. Remember to press enter, otherwise you won't understand it. Okay. How about other techniques like this guy? This would be um, a cross rhythm, like uh, four against five, right? Or being fancy in uh, Carnatic terminology, this would be a Gati uh, Bedam. So now we have the same subdivision of the beat. It's still playing 16th notes. This is not a tuplet. This is a regrouping of the pulse unit. So we have 16th notes, but instead of going in groups of four, they're going in groups of five. So we still have a subdivision of four that is playing 16 notes, but now our words or our cells have a length of five notes each. And I want to hear every note like fully subdivided, so I want to hear one to one to one to one to one, like five ones, right? Now we're gonna hear so four against five. Okay, now it's working. You have to remember to always enter the three variables, okay? Because otherwise it gets wonky, it doesn't understand. So you see that this guy is blinking every fifth um, 16th notes, right? So at the end we get a 5 against 4. No, 4 against 5, sorry. Okay, this guy's subdivision here is um, fixed, but you can tweak it so you have different subdivisions, right? Um, like this rhythm over here called different subdivisions, but still falling on the beat. This is a triplet. This is a, these are 16th notes. This is a quintuplet and a septuplet, but they're still falling on the beat. Like this is in total one six, uh, a quarter note. This is a quarter note. This is a quarter note and this is a quarter note in absolute length. So each of these cells or words is four sixteenth notes in length. So we go ahead and the subdivision is four. The lengths of our cells are still four, right? But then we superimpose different things on these cells. In this first one, we have a one to one to one that is a triplet. And this guy right here, we have one to one to one to one, one to one to one to one, also known as plain 16th notes. Here's a quintuplet, so one to one to one to one to one. And a septuplet, seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's hear it. Okay, moving on, and now things might begin to get a bit weird. Um, these are one, some of the reasons why I needed to program this, this app, because I didn't know any other possibilities, other than writing it yourself in a notation program, but that just takes too much time. Um, so I don't know of any other app that can do this. Nadai Bedam, or nested tuplets, like, let's say we want to do something like 20 against 12, okay? What would that be? Um, that is 20 pulse units in the space of 12. That would be um, 3 beats, and each beat divided into um, 4 16th notes. So we have... 
uh, three quarter notes. If we subdivide each quarter note in uh, 16th notes, we're going to get 12 16th notes. And if we regroup them in groups of three, we get one, two, three, and four different cells of length three. Right? Remember, this is our 12. It's total, it's 12 16th notes. But now we want to um, superimpose um, 20. So each one of these four words will superimpose a quintuplet. So five times one, two, three, four will give us 20. 20 16th notes in the space of 12 16th notes. That's an adaibedam. Okay, so how will we do this? Um, the subdivision is still playing 16 notes. Our frame is going to be words of length 3. And now we superimpose quintuplets. That means a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. Yeah. Okay. Right, crazy stuff. Just the last one. Um, another technique called mix jati nadai bedam, which is superimposing superimposing um, tuplets on top of cells of different lengths. Okay, so here I have a five against three and I have five against four, a five against three, a five against four, five against three, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, how would you do this? Again, our subdivision is plain. Usually, if you want to do complex stuff, you're going to have to start with a plain frame, like an easy um, um, original frame, and that's usually going to be in plain 16th notes. Okay. Here, in lengths, now we have to do a list of two different lengths, because uh, this first word is a total length of three 16 notes, and this second word is a total length of four 16 notes. So we need to loop this array of lengths 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, okay? And here, internally, the rhythmic cell, the proportions, I just did the same. It's like 2 to 1 to 2, right? You, you could change the internal cell, but just for uh, brevity's sake, we're just going to do the same cell. 2 to 1 to 2, okay? So that's what you need to write here just one array of two to one to two. this helped um, drop a comment or send me an email if you have any questions I hope you enjoy it I mean as you could see the possibilities are endless so it's up to you to play with it and find you know um, whatever you can do with it so yeah enjoy <laughs>